Here we go. Got some Xenoblade Chronicles. Pyra just disappeared. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Content. Good game. Maybe we'll get some DLC. It's kind of a weird trailer, though. I couldn't find it. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation to join Snap! Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. That was cool how they did that. They didn't open with the uh, Smash logo. Boy, the Smash community is going to be mad there's another sword user. I like, I'm, I'm fine with it. People just make too big of a deal about that, I think, though. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. I'm still, I'm still waiting for Dante from Devil May Cry. That was all right. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a good game. I'm a little let down. I thought that was going to be a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 announcement. Hello, everyone. But they're in Smash, so it's that's cool. So it's kind of like Dead Cells. It's kind of like Dead Cells, like you just die repeatedly until you figure out the way out. <laughs> I love the background music in this. The music reminds me of music from Shadowgate. That do 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 really sounds like Shadowgate. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club: The Missing Heir. That looks interesting. Club: The Girl Who That looks really interesting. Coming to Nintendo. Samurai Warriors. Samurai Warriors. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right. All right. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. Hope they drop some bangers on me in this uh, direct. I uh, I need some new games to play on my, on my Switch. Like that. World of Fadiel beckons. There we go. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD graphics. Is oh yes! Switch. Yes. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Bot. Day one, baby. When's this Before out? Before discovering the world map is empty. Yes. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Yes. The map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Oh, I love it. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. It looks monsters. like the the text menu or, or, or the dialogue menu artwork home. might be upgraded a little bit, maybe. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Good Other job. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. But again, but again, they don't give a damn about Chrono Trigger. They don't give a damn about Chrono Trigger. So. More Monster Hunter. More Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter. That ain't never a bad thing. That ain't never ever a bad thing. Exterminate demons in he heaven. This looks like bleach. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? That's Steve Bloom. To do someone's dirty work. This looks like bleach. Starring Steve Bloom. Oh my God, it's first person shit. You had me until it's first person. Sacrifice cards for killer moves. But you know what? This still looks fun as hell. I mean, this looks like it's really fun. It's kill or be killed. These character designs look dope as hell. 
Neon white. Bleach. Uncover the Visards. It's Neon like the Visards get their Nintendo own game Switch, Bleach. Winter 2021. <laughs> the art in this looks awesome. Plus super breath. It, this is cool looking. Exactly it's like you're playing a cartoon. An Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. thought that was Soundwave back there. <laughs> that she was fighting. I love the artwork and the presentation of the menus and everything. I love the way it looks. Next, we have another game to show you. Chrono Cross is my one of my favorite games of all time. What is this? This artwork. Oh what? Oh man! Oh my God! Raised Earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. Oh my God! And must be the beacon others look to when the night is dark. Oh, here we go! Today you burn. Oh my God! This looks like Final Fantasy Tactics. Every last one of us. Is this a Final Fantasy Tactics? Triangle strategy. That looks like Final Fantasy Far Tactics, I swear to God. Lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits Frost. of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy These truce, are salty. decades later, the flames <laughs> of the war threatened to engulf Love this the realm artwork. once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a I am completely web. in on this. I'm all the way in on this. To save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say. Ah! In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range This looks is like tactics. Location and their equipped weapon. The range can oh be my by attacking God. from higher ground with long-range weapons such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain Chat. and other elements Chat. to gain the upper hand. We're we're, we're step play. Everybody buy this game when it comes out, so they make more games like your it. Initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Hey, if they announce it. I got it right here. If this thing's coming out soon today, position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Yes. Yes. Lightning yes. Magic. It looks just like tactics. It is of the utmost importance it, to survey the battle. I almost thought that was a fucking chocobo right action. there, man. I am losing my mind over this. You fucking kidding me? This looks incredible. the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Mmm, mm, this tastes Utility, good. Utility, mm, mm. morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Yeah, today, oh, this is a buy. This is a more, I would ask you pre order. I'm pre ordering this so that as soon as it comes out, it unlocks on my Switch. Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. <sighs> Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always wanted. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced. As more this is what I've always wanted. Decisions are made. Your journey may take you down. I think this might be one of Square Enix's uh, sub subsidiary you companies. Will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG. Working title, it ain't gonna be out for a while. Will launch in 2022. Yeah, it ain't gonna be out Please for a while. Damn. Look out for more information in the future. Damn. 
after this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. And in the future, we'll conduct a Playing it tonight. We're streaming it tonight. To We're streaming it tonight. On the demo. Streaming it tonight. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help so this Arthur is that is quest with one of three supporting characters. This Barry is that defense, weird carry for transportation. Ghosts and goblins thing that they showed Ghosts earlier and this year or late last February year. 25th. Resurrection are yeah. available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists. Eight captivating journeys. Okay, so yeah, we knew Saga Frontier, Frontier was coming. For Nintendo Switch. God damn it, Square Enix. Stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists. Give us that Chrono Trigger remaster. I don't need a remake. I just need a remaster. Let's do this shit. Views. Let's do it. New gameplay features. Some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Well, why even give that guy stage While you're time? Waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. What are we getting? Please tell me we're. F oh, we're finally getting it! Yes! Skyward Sword is finally gonna be on Switch. Hell to the yeah. Give me that. Hey, this has been a good ass direct. Yeah, for Skyward Sword HD for 60 bucks, yeah. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Please be excited, 59.99. This game originally released <laughs> in 2011 as a Yo, I hated that. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I hated Nintendo Switch system, the having to use the Wii. That's why I did like Twilight intuitive. Princess. I hate to use the nunchuck. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by you having motherfucker. No, don't. Controllers. <laughs> Don't! The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your thought we were gonna get a controller style version of this game. You can Hopefully you can still play it that way. Hopefully we can still play it that way. <laughs> you can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. It adds tension, all right. We've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on okay, Nintendo Switch Okay, thank God. System. Thank God. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay Please be excited that you can buttons, play it like this. Decided to apply oh. the sword motions to I hope this isn't the big announcement, downward. though. What does his shirt say, I wonder? Well, I, I was wanting to know what his think? shirt said. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take okay. a look at this. Here's the banger. Here's the banger. What is it? Not actual gameplay footage. See you in 2023, whatever this is. Ugh. Oh well. Oh well. The whole show can't be awesome. Yeah, I'm not into Splatoon. This is not a this is not a end the show on this announcement announcement. This is a middle of the show announcement, Nintendo. You botched the ending, Nintendo. You had a ten out of ten floor floor routine and you fell on your ass at the end when you tried to land. Do something. I'm hoping it's a red herring for something, but I don't think it is. No shit. <laughs> no shit. I've tried to play Splatoon a couple times. I'm just not into that whole, everybody jump in and chase each other around and shoot each other. I'm not, I want to sit down with a story and play a game. It's just not my, it's not bad. It's just not my cup of tea, right? So I guess if you're a big Splatoon fan, that ending was a big deal, but. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series. No shit. 
Is that what that was? Splatoon 3 is the next Splatoon? No way. Cool. So, a good direct. I think that's a solid 8.5 out of 10. That was a good direct. Like, And they've been over a year since they did one. So, uh, I think they had a lot they wanted to show everybody. 